We're going to talk today about, about adverse events, how to manage adverse events. So let's start off by entertaining the question, what do you think is a critical event in the operating room? What does it mean to have a critical event? Right, most people would agree asystole or a death in the OR. It sounds like that's probably a critical event. But what about some of these other things that we hear quite a bit about? We hear about wrong-sided surgery all the time. Can I see it with a show of hands? Who thinks that's a critical event? Is there anyone who doesn't? All hands up, okay. What about an infiltrated IV? Critical event, hands up. Some people say yes. What about vision loss? Critical event? Anyone who thinks no? What about unintended awareness? Unintended. You meant them to be under general anesthesia, but they were not. So Gazzoni and his colleagues did a study that was published in 2012, and I find this to be a really interesting chart. Take a look. He asked people to self-identify what they thought was a perioperative catastrophe. So that, that is maybe a little bit more colorful language, but he was trying to get to the heart of when things happen that really hit us hard in the OR, what are those things? Death. 93% said death. So at least 7% of respondents <laughs> Didn't think that was that big of a deal. <laughs> At first you laugh, right? But then you think, well, now wait a minute. Some of our folks who do primarily trauma or a lot of night call, you know, someone comes in, they've been smashed by a Mack truck, don't really expect them to live. So perhaps under those circumstances, it doesn't feel quite as catastrophic. And certainly our colleagues who work in the intensive care unit may not feel like every death is a catastrophe. I think that's the explanation for that 7%, but I'm just speculating. Look down, cardiac arrest, 88%. So that's a little bit what Dr. Kyle was talking about. 88% think that's a catastrophe. Stroke or brain injury, we're getting down to about 75%. I was blown away that only 66% of people think that a wrong-sided surgery is a perioperative catastrophe. I think 100% of those patients think it is. I was really surprised by that. So we all have different perspectives of what is a catastrophe. One of these things happens to you today and you go home and tell your spouse or your parents or whomever you tell about it, depending upon sort of your internal state of being and some other factors, you may or may not feel like it was a catastrophe. So let's explore those other factors. When something goes wrong, maybe it's an error, maybe it isn't, but it's just bad, something bad happened, what are some of the things about the bad event they make it a little bit better to digest, make it a little bit better to deal with. What do you think? I've given this workshop a whole bunch of times over the past four or five years, and everyone says basically what you guys just said, which is, if it's their mistake, that feels better. If it's my own mistake, or maybe if it's not a mistake, if it's your own domain, if it's an anesthesiology adverse outcome, that feels worse than if it's a surgical adverse outcome. If it's expected, that feels better. If it was a big surprise, that feels worse. If it's a known risk, of the case, or possibly a known risk of someone's pre-existing comorbidity. That feels much better because we knew, hey, you have these stents, they could restenose, uh, have an acute thrombosis, and that feels not great, but better because we knew it was a risk. One thing we didn't mention, but I think you'll agree, is if the patient gets all better. If they get better, we feel better. That's good news. Patient gets all better. And then if it was unpreventable, as Susie said, if, if everyone really feels like, you know, we did the best patient care we could, this was totally unpreventable, we feel better about it, and when there's agreement on the team, compared to when you wonder, was this preventable, did I do something wrong, and when there's disagreement on the team, you should have done this, oh no, you should have done that, that feels terrible, and we go home feeling pretty bad about it. Permanent harm, of course, is another one. When the patient does not recover at all, that's gonna have some lasting effects.